practical application is is practicing with the principles and initially it's in terms of the workbook in a sense that the workbook lesson of the day is like a replacement idea for the typical thoughts that move through consciousness. So whatever I call them the top 40, <laughs> you know, the top 40 comes through there and rolls through there, it's, it's an actual replacement for those thoughts. And the deeper you go with it and the more sensitized your mind becomes to it, you do start to realize that the mind is really addicted into thoughts of the past and thoughts of the future. And all sense of, of guilt and shame and regret, um, those come from these past thoughts that are still held in mind. And thoughts of worry and concern, anxiety, often race, like really racing thoughts about the future, concerns, you know, that those go on. So it's really a way of, of coming and practicing the presence and coming inward into that. And the, the rules for decision that Jesus talks about are really at the end of the text. So that once you've gone quite a bit of, undergone a lot of mind training, then you can get to the point where you start to, to really set the kind of day that you'd like to have and then open up more to that flow of the spirit so that if you decide the kind of day you want and you really vow not to make any decisions by yourself you can actually flow more and more with this, this, this current of instructions that's coming from the Holy Spirit and that ends up being very practical because the goal is peace of mind and that kind of sets you in the direction that you, you will have disturbances and upsets that will still come up and interruptions but it really will give you a way to orient your mind back and to make your way back to that peace. So you have to start in, just like if you were going to a swimming pool, you start in at the wading pool, the children's pool. You don't try to go off the high diving board at the beginning. And it's the same with spirituality. Whether you were taking a meditation class or you're working with a course, you have to ease yourself in and start to have some successes and some confidence that builds up with the mind training system. And then the more you do that, the more practical it becomes, the more deep you can go with it, the more you can transfer your learning to more and more aspects of perception. And instead of just reacting and responding to the world, you, you feel like this intuitive direction inside that really guides you and leads you on and that's how it works. <laughs>